Hey everyone, and welcome to Della Fox Checks. Today, I'm really excited because it's Sunday, it's the weekend, and I'm gonna be going to Go Kart World. Go Kart World is located in Carson, and it's an awesome place to go to. I've been coming here since I was a little kid, and I love it. Even now that I'm an adult, it's awesome because they have uh, tracks that are for adults and some tracks for kids, right? But of course, they have more for teens and higher. But it's still an awesome place to come to. I'm taking my little cousins with me today. Hopefully, they like it. It's gonna be the first time there, and I really hope that they wanna go back because I love the Go Kart that they have here they have six different tracks and i believe that four are for adults and they have two where kids can get on i don't know what the pricing is because i haven't gone in such a long time but i'm pretty sure that right now when we get there we are gonna find out but as far as i know i think the prices just went up because it seems like that's the only place that prices go to nowadays but right now we're gonna be heading over there we might make a stop to eat and then we're gonna be going to go-kart world The Instagram page for the business is go underscore car underscore world and they have over 5,400 followers and they got a bunch of pictures of like the gold cards that they have here but one of my favorite posts is this one over here and it's because this is basically footage that was shot from a drone that shows you how go kart world looks. So you can literally see how all the tracks look, how big they are, and all that other good stuff. So this is my favorite thing from the Instagram page. And that's also because I don't have my drone with me, so I can't record this myself. So we just have to use the one footage that they recorded for everybody else, right? But it's awesome footage. I love it. You get a little sneak peek of how Go-Kart World looks. Again, it's not big or anything. They only got six tracks, but it's a ton of fun. And right now, I am heading south on the 405 freeway, and I'm so happy that there's not a lot of traffic today because it's Sunday. So of course, the freeway is not that packed. But right now, I am in Carson. This is my exit to go to Go Kart Road, and it's actually really cool to be here, you guys. I've been coming here since I was like 12, 13, 14. So I love this place. My parents brought me here. I'm bringing my cousins. Whenever I have kids, I'll probably bring them here because I love Go Kart World. And uh, this is how it looks on the outside, right? They got a ton of street parking. They also have parking inside of Go Kart world if you want to park in there it doesn't really matter there's a ton of parking that is not a problem at all and of course they're just reopening now that they release the guidelines of what you need to do so that you can open up your business again right so this is the entrance of where you go into go kart world and again they have a ton of signs they even have a place where you can take some awesome pictures this is actually new i don't remember this being here but it's cool because it's a bunch of go karts and you can take some pictures right so that you can put them on instagram you can take pics of your kids or your family members whoever you want right and before you go inside they do have this display right here on the left hand side that basically shows you how all the tracks look right it tells you the name of the track it gives you like a little preview of how the track is gonna be is it gonna be a circle an oval an eight and much much more so this is really cool just to kind of get you excited before you go into go-kart world right this has always been here but i always love looking at it and of course they have their prices right here which i will talk about a little bit later on when we are inside before going inside of go-kart world they do make you sign a waiver that basically says if you get injured you can't sue us right because we know that we live in america and everyone likes to sue around here so they got to protect themselves and when you go inside of go-kart world they do have a little small arcade with some vending machines but i'm gonna be honest you guys like the arcade here is not really updated like it's kind of old school like a lot of the games are like old right a lot of the machines if you want to play the arcade it's better to go to like round one i did an awesome video on that place showing you guys how the arcade was it's much more updated they have newer machines even david busters isn't better right but i don't think anybody comes for the arcade because it was empty everyone is really here for the go-karts right and if you like go-kart world they do sell merchandise here with the go-kart world letters in the front which i think is awesome and now we're moving on to buy the tickets and they do have this thing right here so that you can measure your kids height that way they can know if they're able to drive on the tracks or not right because some of them you need to be taller some of them shorter but um one of the cool things about the tracks here is that even if your kids can't get on the big tracks they have a cart where the adult drives and your kid can go with you so your kid is able to experience all the big go-kart tracks even if they're not able to drive them themselves, right? But just to give them that experience of being on the go-karts, right? Today, I did buy 20 tickets for $120, and this is literally the best deal because each ride is basically $6, right? And of course, if you purchase less tickets, you have to pay more per ticket, right? If you just buy one ticket, it's $8. So if you come here with a big family or a lot of people are gonna get on the tracks, it's a good idea to bundle up, put your money together, and buy as many tickets as possible. You know what? I low-key remember that back in the day, 
a lot more people used to come here. I feel like less people come here now. I don't know if it's because people are scared of COVID, but I feel like before on Sundays, it used to be packed. The lines were long. Maybe I'm just here too early, but I feel like less people are coming here now, but it's still a fun place to come to. And now I'm gonna be heading over to the little kit track so my cousins can get on. As you guys can see, Go Kart World is filled with a ton of colors and they have a lot of different places where you can take some awesome pictures for social media because I know we all like taking pictures to put on Instagram, Facebook, and all that other good stuff. As you guys can see, the little cousins, they are in the little go-karts already. They're almost getting ready to race each other and have a good time. And right here in the front, this is the go-kart that I was telling you guys about where if your kid is too small, an adult can ride with them and they can still experience it without them driving, right? They also have a little kid go-kart that's for like three-year-olds, four-year-olds, five-year-olds, right? When they're a lot younger. Right now they have a mix because of uh, the other one being closed. But hopefully when you go, that's not the case. And over here, you guys, if you wanna celebrate your kid's birthday party or anything like that, you can actually rent these places and invite everybody here so that they can have fun in the go-karts and they have different packages right for like food tokens and all that stuff so make sure you guys find out if you want to have a birthday party right here i think that'd be amazing if you have kids and you throw a birthday party right here i'm pretty sure everyone would love it but it would also be very expensive right but it would be an awesome experience which is the important thing and you guys can see right here the kiddos they are going crazy the little cousins they are having a ton of fun my little cousin right there he looks like uh mario in a go-kart like he's playing uh what's that racing game i'm, I'm gonna blank out completely mario kart but it's so awesome to uh see them having a good time you know it's a great place to come unfortunately there wasn't that many other kids here which sucks but as long as the cousins are having fun it's all good just look how much fun my little cousins are having i swear i remember that used to be me when i was a little kid i used to be just like them i would get so excited just to get on the small go-karts now that i'm older of course i still like them but now i want the big ones right but the little cousins, they are just loving this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that excitement right there. You can't put a price on that. Look at the little cousin. He's looking like Super Mario. Oh, he's looking like Super Mario. Whoa, there you go. But awesome place to come bring the family. They're going to have a great time, especially if you have kids. Did you like it? Yes. You liked it? Yeah. So I'm right here with my little cousin. He's too small to get on this, on the bumper cars by himself. So he's gonna get on with me today, and uh, this should be fun. And I got the bro, he's over there, the cousin somewhere over there. No, she's like that. Oh, she's in front of us. So this she should be fun. And this is what I was talking about when I said if the person is too uh, short to be able to drive the go karts, an adult can get on. And then you could drive, and your kid, your cousins, or whoever you take can still experience the go kart track without them having to drive, right? I think this is awesome because. You know, if you have a couple kids, maybe one is too small, but he wants to get on and you can drive and you can also have a good time, you know? I mean, I think this is cool because the whole family gets to bond, right? Like nobody feels left out. The parents can drive, the kids get to enjoy the shotgun seat. So I definitely think this is awesome, right? And especially this track right here, this track has, uh, it's kind of slippery. So as you guys can see over here on the right side, I actually crashed. When I was turning to the left hand side, like it had been a long time since I came here. So I forgot how to drive the go karts, right? And of course this track is slippery on purpose and it's just so that it's more fun, right? So you can feel like you're uh, drifting when you're turning, right? But of course they do have people there to help you out so that you don't crash with other cars, you guys. Cause if you crash with other cars, that's not fun, you guys. This is not bumper cars right here where you crash, you can't really feel nothing. Cause this thing really hurts, right? As you guys can see, my cousin actually crashed and her glasses fell out because like she was going fast. And of course, this is what I'm talking about. If you don't know how to drive, you can't get into an accident and other cars can crash into you. This again is why they make you sign the waiver, right? But one of the awesome things is that they have a bunch of staff right there to help you. So if you do get into a crash or anything, they're right there to save the day, which I think is awesome, you guys. Everyone who works here is really amazing, really cool, and they treat you like family, which is really important, right? When you go to one of these places, you wanna have a good time, you wanna have fun because you're with your family, with friends, whoever. What a crazy ride. I crashed, my cousin crashed like twice. She dropped her glasses. That's how big the crash was. Very fun ride. And uh, we're moving on to the next one. So we already saw two of the tracks and now we're going over to the third one. And this right here where we're passing, it actually used to be like the dining area. They used to sell food here. I don't know why they don't sell it anymore. Maybe not a lot of people come. But right there, you used to be able to buy your food and sit down and eat. But here goes the third track. This one is a turbo track. It's basically like a big eight. 
when you're driving the go-karts and I'm gonna be getting all my cousins again they're too short to drive but I will be able to get on the one where two people can sit so both of us can enjoy it so last time I got on with my little cousin now I'm getting on with my other little cousin on the next big go-kart but she's getting on with me this time because she's a little scared because she crashed last time she got on so I'm gonna be driving now and this right here is the point of view of the driver when you are driving on this track. I really should have recorded more footage like this because it looks really awesome. And I'm not finding out until right now. But it's really cool, you guys. As you guys can see, I'm right here with the little cousins. We're driving. We're having a good time. She's having a good time. I'm having a good time. The family's having a good time. For me, Gold Kart World is just so awesome to come with the family to enjoy. I have a ton of fun. Like, I'm already old. And the go-karts don't really go that fast. But it's still a fun experience when you come with a group of family members or maybe with some friends. I have come here in the past with a group of friends and it was a ton of fun because we were all adults and we were like taking it seriously. We were racing each other, right? But of course, today I am with family, so it's a little different. We're just here to have a good time, enjoy ourselves and uh, make the best of it, right? But now that my cousins came, hopefully next time that we come, they have even more fun. Hopefully they're a little bit taller so that they can drive themselves and then we could race each other, right? Because that's the fun part. It's fun to race and just spend time with the family, right? Again, it's a Sunday and it wasn't too packed. That's one of the cool things about this place that not a lot of people come anymore, but who knows? Maybe people are gonna see this video and then it's gonna get packed. And now I'm gonna be getting on some bumper cars. They're kind of like bumper cars, but not really, but they're similar, right? So on these, you can actually crash into each other and it doesn't hurt because this actually has plastic on the bottom, right? The go carts have wood, so when you crash, that hurts. But these bumper cars right here are all plastic, so it is fun to crash into each other. So this is pretty fun. They're not really like bumper cars, but they're similar and you have a good time, you know? Of course, if a lot of people get on, it's a lot more fun because you're bumping into each other. Obviously, I like this ride. It's cool and everything. But for me, this is like one of those rides where you get on once and that's it, right? It's more fun to get on the go-karts. But it's so cool that they have this because it's a little different than the go-karts, right? It's a, a different variety, right? So I, I do like that they have some variety from the go-kart tracks or even what you do, right? And when you walk around the park, they do have these awesome photo opportunities right here where you open the little lid where the head is at and you can take pictures, right? So if you come with kids, family members, friends, you can take some awesome pictures for social media or just so that you have them saved in your phone as memories right you guys can see look the little cousin right there he got it on and he's about to take a picture and this right here is the last track in go-kart world of course here goes another awesome photo opportunity right there so you can take pictures with whoever came first second and third and this last track is called the super track and this one actually doubles up and i will talk about that a little bit later but basically they have the regular go-karts that go really fast and the awesome thing about this track is that there's a lot more uphill, downhill, turns, and all that stuff. Of course, this is the longest track, and it is a lot of fun. The go karts don't go that fast. They go normal speed, but that's why I said it doubles up. So in this track, you can get on the regular go-karts and on the fast go-karts. And I will tell you how to get on the fast ones because there is a requirement. The only bad part about coming to go-kart world is making line. We're all making line. Look at the line. Look at the line. There's a lot of people in line. So make sure you bring some good company so you don't get bored. And we are here racing in go-kart world and look how fun this is you guys. So since my little cousin wasn't driving, I told her to grab my phone and to record, right? So right now we're getting the point of view of the last track. And of course the last track is the longest one. It is the biggest one and it's really fun. You know, I love the last track because there's so many turns, so many uphills, so many downhills. So you have a ton of fun because there's a lot of variety on this track, right? But my cousin loved it. I think she had more fun recording than even the ride, right? But that's just how kids are, right? And uh, it was a lot of fun, you guys. The go-karts are so much fun. I love coming here. I hadn't came here in actually like three or four years, so it had been a while. And that's just because there's just too much to do in LA, right? So if you love this video so far, Please do me a favor and hit that delicious like button down below. And also, if you want to keep going on some awesome adventures with me around LA so you know where to go, make sure to subscribe. I post new videos every single week showing you guys some awesome places you're going to want to check out. But, of course, look at this point of view when you are on the go-kart. It's a lot of fun, you guys. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but when you're in the go-karts, they do feel kind of fast. When you're outside of them, they look like they're going slow. But you're just here to have a good time. If you want to go fast, 
just get on your car you can go 100 miles on it these go karts are just to have a good time to race against other people but just be careful when you crash because it does hurt right and the last track is really cool i like it i like all the tracks i really don't have a favorite because every single track is different right so right here as you guys can see this is the point of view of the second floor of the big track and this is just so you can sit down and watch your family members as they race like i mentioned when you look at the go karts they look like they're going kind of slow the ones with two people always go slower than the single rider ones and that's just done on purpose right but if you want to go fast make sure you go on the solo cars and like i told you guys they do have the fast version and the regular version in the last track so these are european go karts i believe and they go twice the speed as the normal ones right so i actually didn't know this but you have to get a special paper that everyone signs when you get on the go karts you basically have to go through all the go karts from start to finish get on all of them and then at the end you can drive the european go karts right so i actually didn't know this so i got on all the rides and i didn't get the little paper so that people could sign it and uh when i got towards the end i couldn't get on right but if you come make sure that when you buy your ticket you get the little driver's license i think they charge like two three dollars and then when you get on the second third and fourth track and i think also the fifth one everyone signs it off they put a little sticker and then at the end you can get on the european go karts and this is just basically so that they know that you're a good driver and that you're not gonna crash and hurt yourself right because again the european go karts go twice the speed of the regular go karts Did you guys like Go-Kart World? Yes! What did you I, like about it? I liked the like, last one because it Stop. wasn't that fast. I like the rides. You like the rides? Yeah. Oh, Alright, you guys ready to come back next time? Yeah! yeah. On Yelp, Go-Kart World has 3 stars with 303 reviews. And I think that this place has such a low rating because honestly, it's not up to date. Everything looks old, everything feels old. Like the place looks the way it looked 15 years ago, right? So they have not done any remodeling. Nothing looks new at all. But that doesn't matter, you guys. When you come to Go-Kart World, it's for the experience of the driving the go-karts, right? So I don't think this place deserves a three. It should at least have like 3.5 or four. Me personally, I'm gonna give it a way higher grade than that because I'm going based on the experience and how much fun I had. All right, so I just got out of Go-Kart World. I had a blast, my cousins had a blast. They loved it. They're already talking about when we're coming back again, which is so awesome. And me personally, I'm gonna be giving my visit today at Go-Kart World a five out of five. And the reason I'm giving this place a five is because I had a ton of fun. Even if you're an adult, you can still come and have fun. You can get on the rides with your kids. Like I got on the rides with my cousins today. You could bring your kids and have a great time with them. And not just that, you're gonna have a great time, right? So they do have a bunch of tracks. And I know that six tracks seems like a little bit, but when you're here, time just flies. And like those six tracks feel like they're a lot more right so i definitely think that you guys should come down to go-kart world in carson it's only like 20 minutes away from where i live so i know i'm gonna be coming back pretty soon and i'm gonna do a follow-up video because i want to get on those fast go-karts that we saw because this time i didn't get on them but next time i will but go-kart world was so much fun and i can't wait to come back again This was Delafox Checks and I approve a go-kart world.